welcome to another episode of FBS, uh, technically uh, Flight CS006. <laughs> uh, <laughs> welcome back to this uh, um, massive, massive project we've been working on for... Do, do you guys know how many months we've been working on this? Ooh, I feel like we're almost at like a year in terms of planning, right? Because we didn't we start it like the summer of last year or something? Mm -hmm. Coming up on a year. Coming up yeah, on a year. Insane. Oh, in case you didn't know, I have here uh, with me uh, Mr. Uh, Vs. Googlehausen. Say hello. Hello. And uh, Mr. Flex, say hello. Hello. Um, and uh, what you're looking at on the screen is sort of the result of uh, a live stream, a five-hour live stream at that, that I hosted together with, with uh, Beast Googlehausen a couple weeks ago. And uh, since uh, new assets came up into the workshop, just to give you some context in case you haven't seen that and in case you don't really want to sit through five hours of us ranting about various things, um, we decided to upgrade all of the runways because now there's like some really awesome assets that can help us uh, make them look much more realistic than they used to, especially on the shoulder side of things, uh, primarily on the taxiways and on the runways themselves. In fact, by the end of this episode, we're going to we're going to convert, or at least I guess I'm going to convert, uh, one of the runways uh, from pavement into concrete, which I think came out uh, really nice, so stay tuned for that. But uh, obviously, having to reconvert this whole thing, um, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed to admit that uh, I've, I think I put in like 30 or so hours <laughs> into the oh, making Jesus. of this episode. If you look, uh, if you go uh, into the dictionary and look the word insane, there's probably a link to my channel there. Um, yeah, I know. It's, uh, but I, it, I was so like in the zone when I was uh, doing this. It was so much fun. And um, the final result uh, was actually like totally worth it. Um, even though there's still quite a bit of work to do, especially around uh, the lights. Uh, the, this, this runways and taxiways are still pretty much dark uh, during the night. And uh, another thing that happened during the creation of this uh, episode and something that we're going to be seeing in just a couple of minutes is the fact that uh, we cleared a lot of props. Uh, I've been uh, doing some uh, housekeeping on some of the work that both of you guys did and around the terminals and around that cargo area. Uh, sorry, the maintenance uh, facility that Jay was working on in previous episodes. So I replaced a lot of uh, the yellow decals with actual... Uh, you know, network lines, as you can see on the screen right now. And uh, do you want to know the number I ended up with at the end of this episode? Yes. Okay. How many did you start with first? Though? Uh, yeah. There you okay. Go. So we were starting on, I think it was like, because you did some cleanup, uh, Jay, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I did a little bit of cleanup. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it was around, what, 55,000 or something like that? Like when you caught like by like 10,000 from like the top uh, or like the absolute limit, which is 65,000. Yeah, we were we were like scary close to the limit, which was bizarre from like, we're not close to done, but the prop count was almost telling us you guys are pretty close to done. Yeah. So you've just added another four months onto this project. Yeah. And, and, and sorry to keep coming back to this. All, I feel like we're always talking about the same thing, but we're not anywhere near finishing this project and the fact that we're approaching that limit means that we need to like be really frugal with the use of uh, props mm -hmm. from now on which means that there's a lot of projects that we may not be able to get to the level of detail that we want to get to however after doing this episode and uh improving on many many things or replacing many many things for the most part i managed to cut cut it down to forty-three thousand props which wow. uh, yeah <laughs> awesome it's <laughs> so yeah. much better i know uh and um another thing and, and this actually it's related to what's happening on the screen um i was able to salvage most of uh, the props uh the the painstaking process that flux had to go through uh, to put all those uh runway signs in place uh, and nice. I, I didn't want to i did i have to say uh in just a couple of minutes you're gonna see me alter uh the direction on some of these um uh, taxiways we've been asked ever since we did the runways for the first time uh, by a lot of people to do uh, fast uh, exits on on the taxiways and uh, this was sort of a great opportunity to actually do that because you know having to redo everything from scratch <laughs> um, I must say it, they the whole runway layout you're gonna see this at the at the cinematics in the end they look incredibly realistic now uh, with the fast uh, entries and exits too so I'm excited about that. Uh, that meant, however, uh, I had to 
repurpose some of uh, the Taxi Away signs that Flux did. Um, and mm-hmm. some of them might need to be redone. Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, the amount of work you had to put in just to get all of these uh, networked lines in, I mean, it's it'll be negligible compared to, or, you know, my work will be negligible compared to that. So uh, <laughs> I think it was definitely worth it. Yeah. The, so the thing is, um, and, and this is sort of a, a struggle that I have on every CD Skylines project uh, that I've been doing so far. And, and it's like, where where do you draw, uh, draw the line on like redoing, you know, mm-hmm. the thing that you already built? Because uh, mm-hmm. otherwise, ha- like imagine your project in Avalon, right? Or Gramercy, like right, right. how many times have you redone a neighborhood? And if you keep <laughs> doing that as often as you do, when will you ever finish a thing? Never. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's, that's Gramercy's big problem. I keep remaking crap that I don't need to do. <laughs> Well, I mean, maybe you don't. I, I don't know. Maybe you do. Like, yeah. Like in this case, I think it was totally worth it to redo all the runways. Right. Um, Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I'm not complaining about that. Now, having to, let's say, I don't know, some crazy mod comes out uh, a couple weeks from now that makes doing freeways like and doing like lanes and all that like much easier. Would we want to redo all the freeways? I would. Yeah. I mean, I guess if it's like amazing, right? I don't know. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I think what's nice about FBS, at least, I think it lends itself a little better than like a big city to kind of redoing stuff, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that's definitely true. That's absolutely true. I always, uh, every time I think about that, I, I think about uh, $2.20 uh, Springwood project. He keeps redoing his things. And that already, yeah. even if it wasn't, if, if it involved no refactoring of any kind, that project would have been <laughs> many, many months in the making. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I certainly don't envy him <laughs> having to do that, though. <laughs> you know, as long as you're having fun, uh, which is what was yeah. the case here, uh, I'm, I'm happy. And uh, actually, this uh, it's interesting because we, we're changing gears here for a second. Uh, part of the things or the assets that we got to play with uh, are not only just lines that connect taxiways and the uh, shoulders uh, with the little stripes and everything, but we also got some uh, new service roads. And uh, these uh, are made, uh, Jay, you need to help me, uh, Mo- Mobius is, uh, is the asset creator? Mobius One, yeah, who's a viewer of this. So thank you. Oh, thank you. I love how you say it, a viewer of this. Of this of, thing. Of, of ours. <laughs> of ours? Of this project? No, I mean of, of like this thing. Like, like, you know, okay, whatever. Right. Um, um, He's probably viewing this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the way you said it, it was, was funny to me for some reason. In any case, actually, uh, let me ask you, Jay, this. Because um, you were the one uh, talking to him. Like, what? Because um, mm-hmm. we did ask him a few things, uh, a few requests. Yes. Tell us about that a little bit, if you don't mind. Uh, so, basically, looking around, there were a bunch, there were a few different versions of network, just lines and airport lines, and some of them were not really matching our colors, some of them didn't quite work perfectly with what we were after, so uh, I just, I let him know, I said like, hey, here's here's what we want, and unbelievably, he turned it around so fast for us, we just had the colors match, and... I think right now we're using a combination of line sets, which are his. Uh, Vasmir did a few for us as well, which was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there are some just like generic ones as well. Uh, that I think are Ronix's or maybe somebody else's or both or who knows. But yeah, we, we tried a whole bunch. Uh, Ronix's are nice for like traffic things and roads, mm-hmm. but the the orange, uh, the shade of orange was like a little bit too saturated. Yeah. Um, that's why we're like, hey, like yours are like almost like perfect. Can you like tweak it just a tiny bit? And he was just a beast. Like he turned in around in like, I don't know, very short time. Very I quickly, think it was like yeah. less than 24 hours, right? Uh, even even less than that, because I'm like, hey, we're streaming this in a couple days. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Can we yes. have that? And like 20 minutes into the stream, maybe a little longer into the stream, he's like, here yeah. they are. I'm like. Uh oh! So you had to restart your game. Pretty much in the middle yeah. of the stream. That was worth it. Totally worth it. But uh, yeah, it's definitely worth it because he made. So he started out by making these shoulders that we used. Mm-hmm. So I asked, just like, hey, can you match the colors? Because I figured that would be very useful. Yeah, and um, I just uh, wanted to talk about something that happened there really quickly. Though I think I'm gonna showcase it again. Um, so since I had to reduce some of the taxiways, I figured it would be a clever idea. And actually, I think this was uh, Jay's idea that I totally stole, and now I'm taking credit for it. Uh, that uh, one of the old taxiways, instead of just deleting it, because for us it's, it's just free, right? It's just a video game. It's 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 bits that you can just delete or move or copy. But I decided in real life, like a taxiway that existed in concrete, that is expensive. 
not only to build, but also to remove. So you might as well leave it there. And um, usually airports that have uh, either runways or taxiways that are no longer in use, they have like a yellow X, which is what you saw just a few seconds ago. And uh, there's going to be a few segments across uh, the airport. And this is going to, again, be much more uh, obvious in the cinematics at the end. Uh, I just left them there. And, and now everything sort of... Uh, connects and it looks like it, there used to be a taxiway there and there really isn't one anymore. Um, obviously that that still needs quite a bit of detailing, uh, decals and whatnot to make it really, really nice. But uh, for the time being, uh, it just looks like a shut down um, a taxiway. And also uh, another thing that you may have noticed as I was uh, refactoring many of these, uh, well, again, the taxiways were primarily the ones where this is visible. I don't know if you remember back on, I don't know, was it like episode three of mine or six when I actually did uh, the runways and the taxiways? I used a combination of uh, layering of, uh, it was the national road and then like a concrete pedestrian road type thing. Um, that uh, what one thing that was uh, one recurring comment during that live stream we did is like, okay, great. So you're going to get rid of all the props, but now you're going to add a lot of new segments. And it turns out that we actually, uh, oh man, probably <laughs> not working back then. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's fixed now. It's fixed now. Um, by the way, uh, FBS, this is the first episode we recorded after the Park Life DLC, uh, which uh, means that it totally survived. So mm -hmm. great news mm -hmm. there. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, a lot of people are saying, hey, look, cool, you're you're removing a lot of props, but now you're adding a lot of segments, and there is a segment limit. Uh, but um, the thing is, and this is something that we're discussing off camera, um, I feel like you can accomplish way more with one segment than with one prop. Yep. Uh, if you need to make a, a line of, uh, you know, Oh, yeah. just uh, a line of f fences or something like that. It is uh, much more efficient to, to use a, a fence, uh, a, a node-based fence or a network-based fence. Uh, you can cover much, much more ground that way. And the fact that I refactor all these uh, runways and taxiways, we actually cut down on segments. Uh, we used to have a lot more even before this. So I guess it, it was a win-win. Yeah. Right, and can I say something real quick? Please. I also just wanted to put this into perspective. Um, I'm pretty sure that the segment limit and the nodes limit are both half of the prop limit, right? I think it's like 30, 32,000 or something like that. I was not aware um, of that. So, yeah, yeah, it, it should be something like that. So, uh, obviously, if you're doing like a line of props, you're already, you know, you're cutting down if there's even more than two props. So, yeah, this it's absolutely worth it to go with the uh, the the segments and the nodes. And and obviously, you'd be a little more careful about that if you were doing like a city build where mm -hmm. you needed to actually have roads everywhere. But in our case, we're making an airport, so really, we're trying to use all the segments and nodes we can as you know things for detailing rather than anything else because we're not really building other roads or other things mm -hmm. other than that. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah, we don't have large nothing in the way of like large blocks like city blocks. In fact, I think like mm -hmm. almost all of our road network stuff is done. We're gonna have a little more for like the rental cars, a little more for like the farther away parking, probably mm -hmm. a reasonable amount more, I guess, for the uh, cargo area. But like, I don't think we're ever gonna get as much spaghetti as we already did. So I mean, probably not. I think in terms of lanes, I think we're okay. Mm -hmm. We might need like uh, a few more service roads too. Uh, yeah. But yeah, not anywhere as um, as many to like hit that limit. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention that in this episode, I'm also going to be finishing the power plant that I started like forever ago. <laughs> um, uh, for the most part, it's uh, I'm just adding details, and uh, I did replace uh, the main building that had some like large like smokestacks that didn't make that much sense. So what I ended up doing is copying uh, this building that uh, Jay keeps reusing in his uh, latest uh, builds, which is actually great. <laughs> uh, so now we have it on three different builds across uh, across the airport. But you know, I mean, I love these like generic looking buildings. I think that that was uh, uh, Ron X is part of the nuclear power plant uh, mm -hmm. set in case you're interested. Mm -hmm. But I mean, these generic looking buildings that you can just stack anywhere and, and with a few details, it, it totally uh, serves the purpose that you're after. Uh, that's sort of my, my, my go-to or my MO here in City Skylines. Um, yeah. For the most part, this is going to end up being a mostly plain area. It's not going to have a lot of details. It's mostly concrete slabs, and I'm taking advantage of uh, 
some of these parking lots that I'm adding for adding uh, just various cargo tracks as well as uh, a place for uh, airport police to to leave uh, their cars uh, just park there and and um, we pretty much uh, already did an airport parking, uh, sorry, a police parking area, but uh, I figured police would have multiple parking spaces across uh, the airport so that they can react quickly whenever uh, an incident happens. Uh, and, and that's going to make a bit more sense in just a second when I actually start filling in uh, the parking lots with not only police cars, but also civilian cars, as you can see here. I think I'm, I'm too late for the joke, but you said it's a little bit of plain area, and I was going to say it's an airport, so it's all plain area. <laughs> I've been, like, sitting on that, like, biting my tongue over here, <laughs> trying not to just interrupt. Just throw it in there. Edit it. Just so you know, just so you know, future me added some laugh track to that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, there we go. At least it's uh, not booze. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, okay, so here, this is the thing that I'm most excited on, uh, this uh, concrete uh, runway. Uh, another thing that I did, by the way, is I realized that I don't need the actual runway, like a like the functioning runway to extend the whole thing, because obviously planes don't never get to this end of the runway, and especially if it's one way. So I got rid of that. So now this is all like literally a surface painter, and I'm just putting down some white lines in the middle. Uh, uh, up until like the middle of the runway, of course. Uh, from from then on, it's, it's it is an active runway. I am going to admit, though, that after doing quite a bit of this refactoring, the airport doesn't function as good as it used to. Planes are taking off and landing in weird. I mean, for the most part, it looks fine. Don't don't get me wrong. But mm -hmm. uh, the behavior has uh, changed uh, dramatically in some of the places. I think it's fixable. But uh, obviously, uh, after spending 30 hours on this thing, I just couldn't all also do that on top. I needed to, to take a quick break. So we'll... Got to call it somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, I was... Oh, I was fair. At some point, I think I told you, Flex, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to refactor like three of the five runways and we'll do the other ones in a future episode. And mm. I woke up the next morning and I finished everything. So, yeah. Uh, Which is insane, by the way. You have, yeah, I mean, you have to take advantage of that. When, I mean, I'm sure this happened to you many times when you have that boost of inspiration. Mm -hmm. I, I, I realize now, because I, I stopped before uh, in certain uh, projects, uh, even as I was pumped and uh, eager to keep moving. But I feel like you need to really milk that. <laughs> oh, <absolutely. laughs> Really take yeah. advantage of it because it might take a while for it to come back. So... Yeah, mm -hmm. that's uh, a little design tip. Oh, okay. So this this is interesting. Um, so this is a uh, what is it like a Doppler radar that you did, Jay, a while back? It's a some sort of radar. It, it's a it's a some <laughs> sort of radar, and uh, I started sort of detailing the outskirts a little bit because I wanted Ooh. to also do something a little bit different. And since we're stacking up networks with one another, I figured, hey, let's use this uh, vanilla dirt road and just come, kind of create like a jagged edge around it. I thought it came out kind of nice, uh, especially whenever, uh, after I, I start adding bushes and things. I'm also using the using the vanilla, the uh, Park Life clusters. Yeah, thank you, Park things. Life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if all of us have Park Life, but uh, yeah, I, I don't Park think we Life. need them either. I think these are just find it, uh, use them. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, but I don't know. I thought it, it looked kind of nice, and now cars are actually parking in like in the in middle the of the road, basically. Nice. Yeah, in the dirt, but in, it looks like they're parked in the middle of the road. You can see that in the cinematics. Oh, too. that's awesome! Yeah, you can even see that car right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't know. It just gave it a little bit more texture, and I think I'm gonna do this if you if you guys agree. Uh, yeah, in other sure. places. Uh, another yeah, sure. another thing that I tackle here is at the end of uh, of runway one two left is uh, we have some sort of a uh, gradient in, in the terrain. And so as soon as we have this uh, service road that, that kind of goes around it, uh, obviously you don't want to have vehicles immediately behind the jet blast area. So uh, I'm taking advantage of the lower height and, and using this concrete wall here to sort of have a recessed area that I think uh, came out kind of nice and I'm gonna fill it with uh, some uh, pluppable grass on top of it just to have everything be super flat uh i did uh, i pretty much uh, kept the um service roads uh, i don't know if you uh, i can't remember if you showcased that in your episode jay uh but i haven't changed the layout much I, all i did is like polish the corners like rounded a few things and for the most part everything else looks fine nice um yeah in fact we were talking about having some uh, underground 
uh, service roads go under the, the runways and taxiways a little bit mm -hmm. too, so that might come That'd in the cool. future. Uh, we're talking about like, doing custom tunnels, uh, not like using the vanilla tunnels. When I, you know, when I say custom tunnels, I don't mean like getting a mod. Like I mean like literally sunking it uh, underneath and like creating our own walls in game and all that. So I think that would be an interesting challenge, uh, whoever is up for it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, oh wow, okay. So that uh, the music is already playing. That means uh, we're getting till the end of this episode. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna be doing in the next one, but I'm sure that uh, the next. The very next episode is going to take place on Flux's channel, so you need That's to right. be subscribed to him in case uh, uh, you haven't yet, which I doubt that at this point you're not. Uh, and uh, the week after that, uh, the, 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 the the save game go back, it goes back to uh, man, I can't even like I'm I'm done <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the saving goes uh, to Jay, uh, and he'll continue uh, expanding the airport uh, a bit more even. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much how this whole thing uh, came out. There's a lot that didn't make it into the video, but you probably maybe see it in the cinematics now. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode so far, please consider giving this video a like. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, uh, there's also a big red subscribe button that you can click. But uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. <laughs> Thank you on your yeah. episode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was talking to to you you guys, not the rest <laughs> of the other guys. Well, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, thank to all the other other guys that are not in this call, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> so I think I want to keep it. That was like hands down the worst outro we've ever done. I was trying to like fix it, but it was like coming in even worse. Should, I, should we do that you, again? When you said thank you guys, you guys, I thought you were just saying to us. So I was like, uh, you're welcome. I, we're kind of always here. Well, I was talking to you, but I didn't like, I didn't like. Uh. Okay, it's fine.